નમસ્તે હું આદર્શ છું વેલકમ ટુ આદર્શ એજ્યુકેશન સોસાયટી હેલો સ્ટુડન્ટ ટુડે વી આર ગોઈંગ ટુ લર્ન સ્ટાન્ડર્ડ સિક્સ સબ્જેક્ટ ઇંગ્લિશ યુનિટ નંબર સિક્સ સેડો ઇન લાઈ એજ નો સ્ટુડન્ટ ઇન અવર પ્રીવિયસ વિડીયો વી કમ્પ્લીટેડ એક્ટિવિટી નંબર વન ટુ સેવન નાવ ટુડે ઇન ધીસ વિડીયો વી હેવ ટુ ડુ એક્ટિવિટી નંબર એટ એક્ટિવિટી નંબર એટ ઇઝ રિલેટેડ ટુ અવર એક્ટિવિટી નંબર સેવન એજ વી લર્ન ઇન એક્ટિવિટી નંબર સેવન દેટ એ મોથ વિથ અ ડ્રીમ ઇટ ઇઝ રિટન બાય જેમ્સ થર્બર વી ડિસ્કસ્ડ અબાઉટ ઇટ બિફોર સ્ટાર્ટિંગ અવર એક્ટિવિટી નંબર એટ જસ્ટ વી હેવ ટુ રિવાઇવ અવર એક્ટિવિટી નંબર સેવન ઇન એક્ટિવિટી નંબર સેવન વી ડિસ્કસ્ડ અબાઉટ એ યંગ મોથ હુ વોન્ટ ટુ રીચ અ સ્ટાર એવરી નાઇટ હી ટ્રાવેલ ફ્રોમ અર્થ ટુ રીચ સ્ટાર બટ હી નેવર રીચ ધ સ્ટાર હિઝ મધર એન્ડ ફાધર ઓલવેઝ એડવાઇઝ હિમ ડોન્ટ ટ્રાય ટુ રીચ ધ સ્ટાર બટ ફાઇન્ડ આઉટ એ નાઇસ લેન્થ એન્ડ બોન્ટ યોર વિંગ્સ બટ ધેટ લિટલ મોથ નેવર અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ અબાઉટ હિઝ ફાધર એન્ડ મધર્સ એડવાઇઝ એન્ડ હી એવરી નાઇટ ટ્રાય ટુ રીચ ધ સ્ટાર બટ હી નેવર ડુ ઇટ ઓકે નેવર ડીડ ઇટ સો બાય ધીસ વે હી પાસ્ટ અવે ઓલ હિઝ લાઈફ ટુ રીચ ધ સ્ટાર એન્ડ હી નેવર બર્ન હિઝ વિંગ્સ હી બિકેમ ઓલ્ડર એન્ડ ઓલ્ડર બટ હી નેવર રીચ ધ સ્ટાર એન્ડ વન ટાઈમ આફ્ટર ધેટ હી બિકમ ધ ઓલ્ડ પર્સન હી પ્લે ટ્રિક્સ એન્ડ સેટ અધર મોડ ધેટ he reached the star okay by this way he passed out all his life with a dream to reach the star okay so i hope that everybody understand the story very well now based on that we have to do activity number 8 so students open your textbook page number 53 with me i just read activity number 8 from the textbook and what we have to do we we have to do in our textbook okay first activity number 8 i read first line from the textbook just keep attention there first line is given here look carefully at the story look carefully at the story and moth with a dream now once again you have to revise your story moth with a dream the story has many words in that help tell the reader when something happens such it. in that story you can find out the many words which describe something and something something happens describing words we can see that in the story words like here list of words is given see here once upon a time every night every morning open like that words we can say see that in story because they depict the time once upon a time every night every morning open all words are related to time related to the time so by this word we can identify the time when accident or incident happen when the incidents happen we can find out by this type of time depicting words okay now next red line is given according to that red line we have to do something see look for all the ways that the writer tells you when something happens look for all the ways that the writer tell you when something happens in that story writer tell us something happens at that time list all these words and phrases 
from that storage we have to make a list in here finding that type of word from the story so for that students we have to revise activity number 7 all the stories just you have to read the stories one and two times and find out the word related to that type of time depicting okay so i find out five words here so i write here for an example see i find out every evening first word i find out that every every evening then second word i find out that all night all night next word i find out that one day one day then next word is that never n e v e r never then next word is that night after night night after night first means i find out that five words from that lesson amoth we can read every evening all night one day never night after night so all are words or phrases which i find i will find from that story just you have to complete the that words list in your textbook down side of red line written in there look for all the best that the writer tells you when something happens list all these words and press on down side space is given here in that space you have to write all the list as an example now on down side printed line is given what is this i read just keep it count all the words and phrases you count that you think tell the reader we have to count how many words we find from that story when something happens how many did you find here one little space is given here and that space we have to write the figure how many words or phrases we find from that story so i found that 1 2 3 4 and 5 words so in that space i have to write five in figure or brackets you have to write five on down side space is given here like that one underline is drawn okay in that class you have to write five in figure and in brackets you have to write five in words okay after that one red line is given here red line is given here just we have to understand about it and we have to find out the next thing one line is given in here compare your list to other classmates list now you have to compare your list with other classmates list did someone find more than you did anyone any person of your class find out more than your words we find out five words but any other classmate find out more than five words can you help someone find one they did not or if anybody of your class do do find like that you find out words then you have to make help to find out the new words from that lesson okay so here on down side one space is given here in that space we have to write answer of that question compare your list to other classmates list this the one find more than you did okay just you have to write answer here in that space given here you have to write like that no i find i found i found the maximum the maximum number i found the maximum number i will show you i b show me help others help 
अदर्स फाइंड अदर्स फाइंड इफ दे डिड नॉट इफ दे डिड नॉट सो ये इस बिकम आवर आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक दैट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दैट आंसर इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक गिवन स्पेस no i found the maximum numbers no in classroom i found the maximum number i am only once to the so, so i i have find out the maximum number of words five okay i will surely help others find if they did not if other person did not find the five new words five words from that story i will surely help them okay so it's become our answer now on the outside one Black line is written. Write three sentences that tell about something you did that use the phrases you see in the story. Now we have to use that words and make a three sentences using that phrase or words in our own sentences. So three space is given in downside at last of your activity number eight. Okay? So I write here three sentences. Including that words or phrases in that sentences. So you have to write three sentences in your textbook as I written on board. Okay? You have to write for an example. First sentence is that I write here. First sentence. Every evening I use every evening. And I find out here. So you have to underline it. Every evening, I go to play with my friends. With my friends. So students, I use word or phrase. Every evening, I go to play with my friends. So underline. Every evening, because I use that word from that list every evening. Okay. Now second sentence we have to do. Second sentence I write here. Very often, very often. Here I would use often. Okay. I would use often. We miss good opportunity. We Miss good opportunity, good opportunity. Opportunities, opportunities. If we are not, if we are not alert. Here I write second sentence. Very often we miss good opportunities if we are not alert. Here very often, open word I use the term that is not from that story. Okay, open word is also depicted in that story. A mouth with a dream. So I use open word here. Very often we miss good opportunities if we are not alert. Here open is a New words used to show the time period. Okay. Now third sentence we have to complete here. Third sentence I write. Just see. In certain areas, in certain areas, certain areas of water scarcity of water. Scarcity. People have to. People have to keep awake. Keep awake. Keep awake. All night. All night. Here I use all night for all night waiting for 
waiting for the water supply for the water supply s u d p l y so students i write here third sentence in certain areas i write here third sentence here in certain areas of water scarcity people have to be away all night waiting for the water supply so students here i completed three sentences you have to write that three sentences in your textbook space given is that okay so students complete all the things in your textbook here we completed our activity number 8 we completed here our activity number 8 you have to complete all the things as i have written on the board and you have to complete that things in given steps in your textbook so students here our activity number 8 over remaining activities we have to do in our next video thank you for joining us